Welcome back to another walk around and test drive video here at Coyote Classics. Today we're going to be going around and checking out this beautiful classic car. This is a really sharp looking old 50s car right here. It is. I love the wheel and tire combination on it. This car is just so sleek and has such a sweet um, laser straight body on it as well. It's got single exhaust on it, and the single exhaust pipe comes right through this back bumper here on the passenger side. As we go underneath the hood, Shay, what's this got for a cubic inch? Uh, 364 cubic inches. This is an original Buick V8, um, equipped with a tri-power setup. And I love the tri-power setup, and you know what? Everything looks super clean. It's got the Offenhauser intake with the three carburetors. Um, I like what they did here with the fuel block as well. I mean, it's just really cool setup. A yeah, really neat car. And I don't know if I said at the beginning of the video, but this is a 57 Buick Special. I think you might have left that one out. I think I did. <laughs> really cool car. And you don't see too many 57s. Uh, we did put a brand new Napa Legend battery in it. I love about the 1957 and 1957 only and this is in Pontiac Buick's Oldsmobile is this I don't know kind what you call it kind of window yeah it's just fantastic I call it kind of an opera yeah. rear window something like that but to me it's the the neatest uh, 50s car is with that rear window love yeah, it, it is. it's really unique and I just love the styling in these old 50s cars uh, especially the color combination on this one is sweet the black with that little uh check mark uh, chrome red pinstriping yeah. and the wheels i mean it's got a taller wheel in the back i'm guessing probably some 20s but it works so well with that big arch and that mm -hmm. rear quarter doesn't yeah, it yeah definitely fits them well you can tell the paint job is older but wow um the guys here at coyote classics buff this thing out and it looks super clean the bottom of the door fits excellent to the back of the quarter uh, we buffed all the chrome as well the bumpers and stuff uh, appear to be original so they're not perfect but stuff cleaned up really well didn't it i mean you got some micro scratches and stuff like that and in the tail light chrome got koi wheels on it we have some 20s this is what i'm talking about just a 50s car that hasn't had the rocker panel all butchered and bondoed up if you go to our website coyoteclassics.com you'll see just how solid those inner rockers floors and trunk floor are it's probably about 15 or 20 photos there corner of the door is great what do you think of that interior shay it's kind of cool color. i love these old 50s interiors they never really did them like they did in the 50s you had tons of different unique color combinations and this one especially has got this really cool um checker style it's not, not even a checker style but it's a black and white type pattern that goes across the entire interior of the car and frankly i just love it i do too i do too and the dash looks really good you got the the buick in the dash the gauges and stuff we'll get to that in a little bit but i noticed most of them work uh, the visor bushings a little bit the visors seem like they want to kind of fall down just a little bit uh, headliner still in good shape a few little spots that looks like they might have been fixed or something in the headliner but very nice and tight uh, back door panels like just like shay said all the original checker style interior back shelf's got a couple six by nines in it Got seat belts in the front, seat belts in the rear. I mean, this car is just ready to basically throw your grandkids or kids in the back and go cruise. Oh, absolutely. It's a great driver. That's that's perfect uh, explanation on it. It is a great driver. Mm -hmm. We do have just a little bit of a, a crack here. And the nice thing is this is flat glass, so it can be replaced by any uh, local glass shop. But that's got a crack in it. As you mentioned before, up and down the sides is really straight. Yeah. Very straight car, but like you said, older paint job, so if you get really close, you'll find small imperfections. Come on, doll, don't but, pick on it. Like right here? Yeah, just like a little bit of solvent pop. <laughs> and you probably won't even see it in the video. As far as our gap goes on the trunk lid, it's nice. And check this out. How about this? This is something you don't even notice very often. Look at this. This little seam goes all the way up and over the roof. The styling on, on these, these 50s cars, especially late 50s, is, is really spectacular. Me personally, whenever I look at 50s cars, I always look out for the tail fins. The tail fins are my absolute favorite aspect of this vehicle because they, if you look at them in person, they're huge and they really just make this car stand out even more. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's, 
you know, every one, whether it be Buick or Pontiac or old, even though the back window's the same, their tail lights are gonna be different. Mm -hmm. the, the, just a the little bit of wing on the back is just gonna be a little different. Yeah, so. I mean, each different um, branch had their own tail fin designs. Like the 57 Chevys were a lot more thin. They didn't have tail lights that go all the way up like these do. But uh, obviously Buick has a different tail fin and a different tail light design. And yeah. I think that's really unique. You know what, we haven't even introduced you, Shay. Yeah, <laughs> Shay is uh, living proof that uh, the younger generation still loves old cars. How old are you, Shay? I'm 17. Yeah. 17. He's a walking encyclopedia of old cars and we're happy to have him here. <laughs> uh, he's kind of doing a summer intern working for us and uh, kind of, he's going to be a senior in high school next year. and. And uh, so we're really excited uh, to have him. If you guys notice, uh, my descriptions are a little better on the websites because Shay's doing them all. So <laughs> um, anyway, pretty cool. We got the fuel door here, uh, 57 special. Again, uh, there is a little, we got one tiny little bubble right here and just a little paint, kind of a paint scratch right there. Um, bottom of the door, again, lines up really nice to that rocker panel. Just a few small chips along the, um, edge of the door there. What is that? Just a little bit of glue or something? There? I think so. Of... I think that'll come off probably. Yeah, it will. Same thing. Look at that bottom of that front fender. How many '50s cars that aren't that aren't trailer queens, right? Fit like this. The bottom of the fender to the rocker, door, back of the hood lines up nice. I really like it. Another thing I want to mention about this car, really quick, just a kind of kind of a piece of trivia, is this thing right here. That would also be original. The 55s through the 57s, or maybe it was the 56 and 57s. Those Buicks are really unique because they always put the model year above the um, nameplate, huh. and I, I thought that, that that was really um, different and unique and kind of special about what Buicks had to offer because they always put the model year on the car. I mean, there's no guessing, cool. man. You just yeah, know, no, exactly. You know exactly. You're tail on this thing. You know what year it is. Yeah, very cool. Neat. So the driver's door. Uh, panel is in good shape. We do need a new rubber here guys, and you know what this could be the factory rubber check that out I'm pretty sure it is it's pretty dry rotted there uh, Corner of the door is really nice inside the jams good. Um, let's take it for a spin So with these we'll give you kind of a little you got your lock on and off turn it on button start over here in the left hand side even with that tri power i mean this thing just fires right up a gas gauge works and we don't have a lot of gas in it so we won't go too far um charge is really good oil pressure is way over here on the high side as far as our temperature gauge we've had it running it's just in the middle here just just like it should be horn works I'm not going to try the wipers because I already know they do work. They go very, very slow. So we're going to need to, um, I'm guessing it's probably got uh, a vacuum line that's bad in them, but they try to work and yep. you go down the road pretty fast and they will work. Another way you can tell this is a special is because the special was Buick's uh, entry level model for um, in the 50s. And I think it ran all the way from like, I don't know, 51, 52, all the way up until I think 1960 or so. Okay. But you can tell that it's a special because it has a radio delete and a clock delete. Both of those, uh -huh. the radio and the clock would go in those two spaces right there. And cool. you can tell that it's it's a special because it doesn't have those two things. So it had the right. Roadmaster, which would have been the high, high yeah. option chrome and stuff like that. Yeah. You are a walking encyclopedia. <laughs> yeah. That's freaking ridiculous. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Oh, and how about this? How about the ribbon speedometer? And it freaking works. This car is not going to last. It's solid, it's straight, it's clean, it's nice, it drives good. It's the right colors. And it's priced at $30,995. I mean, that's a great price for a cool muscle car. Absolutely. I'm calling it a muscle car because of the 20-inch wheels and the tri-power. There you go. How about that? The brakes are absolutely perfect. Really nice pedals. Nice. I wouldn't be afraid to drive this one home tonight. There you go. <laughs> Shay might have to. He yeah, locked his keys in his to. car. Yeah, and I locked, I locked the keys in my car. I'm going to need something to drive home tonight. This might be the one, dude. <laughs> there you go. Look at this. How about it? All right. Damn, that thing works. Look at it. Look at how straight this thing drives. It's ridiculous. <laughs>
Sounds like a muscle car. Even. This car right, kind of makes me happy. About made me as happy as that uh, 502 Big Block uh, 70 El Camino. There you go. Anytime I get like super surprised by a car, it's just hard not to smile. And this one kind of kind of surprised me about the way it drives and and uh, how much power it did have for just an old Buick tri-power. Yeah, that tri-power setup is really really neat on this though too. And I don't think it's got power steering, but just check how you don't need it. Look how smooth this thing is. Just take a, a gander out over the hood. Check out that black paint, how sweet that looks. Yeah, this thing shined up awesome. Uh, this yeah. car is going to be gone. I it bet this really car will last a nice. week. When we got it in, it was kind of dusty, but then I was and I was like, ah, oh, but then when they cleaned it up, oh my God, it's beautiful. Yeah. So it's a couple before and after pictures. Yeah. I mean, it was a nice car, but it didn't have the shine when no. we got it. Yeah. Beautiful car. Check it out on the website, coyoteclassics.com. I'll go ahead and put the link in the description. There you'll see uh, all of our inventory, prices, photos, um, and more of these little videos. Uh, check it out on the website, coyoteclassics.com.